Hello everyone, this is Tommy from Foyer Neo, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to create a custom built-in using the Create New Product feature. You can access the Create New Product feature right here once you're in 3D, up in the top center of your screen. Please click in that. Now that we're in, we're, now that we are in Create New Product, you can see these different tools. We have the pen tool, the rectangle, circle, arc, push and pull, offset, trim, and ruler. We will not be using all these tools, but we will be using the majority of them. The first step that we are going to do is select our rectangle tool. Please choose the wall which you would like your built-in unit on and draw a rectangle to cover the complete wall. The next tool that we will select is our offset tool. So I'll click here. The offset will always end up in the center of your object and it will create the exact identical shape of your object. So we're just going to offset here. You can add in measurements if you would like or you can eyeball it about right there. After we have that, we are going to come down here and use our ruler tool. We are looking for the center of this object here. Collect ruler. Select ruler. And since we are looking for the center of the object, we need to select this line here in order to find the center. You see this blue circle is indicating that this is the center. So we're just gonna select there. And now since we have found the center of our object, we're still going to have the ruler tool selected and I'm going to take it here and we're going to select this line that we just made and come out around four feet and do the same on this side. I'm going to press escape. What we are indicating is that this is going to be our shelving over here and then this will be where our TV will be at. I'm going to select my ruler again. We want drawers to be down here, so we will select this line and bring our ruler tool down about six feet. Press escape. We will no longer need this middle line, so we can come up here and press ruler. Or I'm sorry, we can come up here and press trim and trim this line out. Once we have that line trimmed out, we can come up here to the rectangle tool and we are going to trace these two lines that create our TV unit. The nice thing about it is that once you put in your ruler lines and click on either your rectangle tool or your pen tool, it will always snap to a ruler line. So we're just going to trace this rectangle here. So these will become drawers down here and these two will be a door, two doors, bookshelves. I'm going to select my offset tool. I'm sorry, I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to trace here also. Now I'm going to select my offset tool and offset the center of this. We want to offset this about 2.8, 2.86 inches. Come over and do the same with this one. Just type it in. Now we're going to use our push pull. Please press escape on your keypad. Turn to the side. I always turn to the side when using portion pull because this way I can see the depth of my object and I also can see what I'm doing more accurately. Come here. I'm going to portion pull this all the way out to about a foot. I will do the same with this. Do the same here. I'm 
going to circle back around to see the center. You see how we have pushed this out to create a border and also push this out to create this border. Now, if you want, you can come up here and you can trim out this line and also this line here so that it is seamless. Or you can come back and you can do undo and you can keep them. It is up to you. We need to pull this bottom out. So we're just going to turn to the side again, do push pull. And we're just going to pull this out to one foot two. Turn to the side. You see our unit is coming together. Again, you can delete these lines or trim out these lines if you would like, but you do not have to. It's whatever effect or whatever look that you're going for. Our next step is to create our shelving. Again, I'm going to use the ruler tool. I'm going to select this, this line here because I want to find the middle. So I'll select this line, come up here and find the middle of my shelving. I'm going to trim out this line here. So we know this is the middle of our shelving. And I want my shelving to be about five inches deep. So I'm going to come up here, take my ruler, click on this line that I have already created and do about two, about 0.25 inches. Or we can do a little more than that. There we go. Point. And then about do 2.5 inches. So right here will be a shelf. And I want to create a shelf above it and below it. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to measure up about one foot. Same here. Click on this lower line and measure down one foot. And now I'm going to click on this line that I just created above and do about five inches. And same here. Click below and do five inches. And now we have our different shelving units. Please take your rectangle tool. Remember that once you click on a rectangle tool or even the pen tool, it will snap to those ruler marks that you made. And just create your shelving. I'm just going to drag mine all the way out. If you want, you can trim out this middle line because we no longer need it. Come back up here to rectangle. And again, you see that it's snapping. You want it to snap on this line and just trace all the way over here and do the same for here. You can zoom in if need be. There we go. Now we have our shelving units. Again, this isn't going to have any shelving, so we can come down here to trim and we can just trim this on out. And there we go. We need the depth of it, so we're going to turn to the side and use our push pull and just pull these all out to one foot. If you mess up, that is okay. You can just select read, undo, come back and push pull, click here and type in, there we go. Type in your measurements. Press escape, enter. So now we do have our shelving here. 
This is where our TV is going to go. We need to create our drawers and our doors down here. Again, we're going to use our ruler tool and we're going to find the middle. Select here to find the middle, we will need to to find the middle of our object, we will need to click here, bring it on down. Remember the blue dot is indicating that it is the middle. Select that. We're gonna use our pen tool, which our pen tool snaps to this ruler line that we created and trace this line. Since these are going to be doors, we can delete this line out here and find the midpoint up here. To find the midpoint going this way, we will need to select this line here. So click on our ruler tool, select this line. Blue line indicates the midpoint, and there we go. Do the same thing. Select pen tool and bring this on down. So now we have the effect of drawers and doors. If you want to put a little detail in there, you can use your offset. And we can offset it to create a border about 2.42 inches. Same here, 2.42 inches. And we're going to just do the exact same thing over here. also can offset our doors. We can do 2.42 inches in. Here we go. So now we have drawers and we have doors. Once you click done, now we have these custom built-ins that we can add a texture to. And we can add different textures to them. Click on furniture, or you can do matte, glossy, whichever you would like. Do a matte wood. And we can just add our different textures here. Also, we can come up to catalog and we can select different knobs, our door handles, and place those here. Select these, place these here. And so forth. And then also we can select these knobs here and place these here. And that is how you create a custom built-in using Create New Product. I hope this has helped and happy designing.